We occasionally experience tension and anxiety at all new heights. You might have experienced sudden waves of anxiety as you approached a classroom podium to deliver a presentation, or you might have felt intense pressure to complete an assignment on time. Or maybe you feel as though your stress and anxiety are unending and continual. You can find it very challenging to complete ostensibly straightforward duties because your worried thoughts and demanding to-do lists have overwhelmed you. Here are some everyday routines that can help you feel less stressed and anxious to help you get through your days. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to The Human Mind Project. Number one, find a quiet and comfortable place. Imagine finding a serene spot where you can settle yourself, whether it's a cozy corner in your home or a peaceful park bench. Sit or lie down, allowing your body to relax into the support beneath you. If you feel comfortable, gently close your eyes, shutting out the external world. This quiet space provides a sanctuary for you to escape the hustle and bustle, inviting tranquility and calmness to envelop your being. Take a moment to relish this peaceful haven you've created ready to embark on a journey of inner stillness and rejuvenation. Number two, cleaning up. Cleaning up, you might say, yes, you heard that correctly. Dishwashing can be beneficial for your health. According to Florida State University researchers, with the aid of 51 students as volunteers, researchers conducted a study to determine which daily activities reduce stress. They discovered that people who wash dishes mindfully experienced a 27% reduction in anxiety and a 25% boost in creative thinking. The benefits of mindful dishwashing were not observed in the control group, on the other hand. So how can you wash dishes mindfully? Simply be mindful of your surroundings while you wash the tomato sauce off of your lasagna plate even though it might not be spectacular, try concentrating on the scent of the soap. Pay attention to the warm water as well as how the glass feels in your hands. You can reduce stress by keeping your awareness of your surroundings grounded in truth. And this doesn't just go for dishwashing, it goes for all tasks to relieve your anxiety, be present in the moment, and focus on exactly what you're doing, and you'll feel that mindfulness benefit. Number three, hugging, holding hands, and cuddling. The comforting sensation of a warm hug or cozy cuddle, the warm fuzzy feeling you get when you hug, kiss, or hold hands with someone is probably brought on by the enhanced endorphin release that comes with a loving hug for most people. Numerous studies have found that cuddling and hugs enhance the release of the stress-inducing chemical cortisol. So when will you get a chance to hug someone you care about next? You'll only be happier and they will be as well. A plushie would suffice if you currently have no one to cuddle with, but cuddling and holding hands and overall touch is known to reduce that cortisol stress level in your body. Number four, develop a habit of good posture. I bet you're slouching right now. Don't worry, my little slouching grasshopper, I'll show you the advantages of good posture. We're all guilty of slouching occasionally, but keeping a good posture has significant advantages. A study published in the Journal of Behavior Therapy and Experimental Psychiatry suggests that maintaining an upright posture can benefit health and lessen weariness. According to the preliminary studies, findings adopting an upright posture may increase positive effect, reduce fatigue, and decrease self-focus in people with mild to moderate depression. So, are you feeling a little drowsy or inattentive right now? See how you feel after three minutes of keeping good posture. And if you still feel worn out, have a nap. However, studies have shown that the Superman stance, which is literally standing in a superhero stance, with good posture can help reduce your feelings of depression and anxiety. Number five, see stress as a challenge when we are worried or anxious. We frequently feel discouraged and well because of these sentiments in the first place, feel even more pressured or anxious. Consider that your anxiety and tension will only increase if you dwell on a worrying notion for an extended time. Try seeing stress as a challenge, as an alternative. In her book, The Upside of Stress, psychologist Kelly McGonigal advises redefining every stressful situation or worrying event as a challenge. According to preliminary studies, those who adopt this approach experience fewer stressful situations and have fewer negative health repercussions. Make use of this stress response as a chance to develop personally. Consider how you might act differently and what that might mean for you 
and the circumstance. If you respond in this way, how will that make you feel in the long run? What if you think of your tension as a long lost buddy who requires a break or some conversation to de-stress? Well, if you talk to them, you might just click and then you might stop thinking of stress as an enemy at all, but rather as a friend that can be persuaded. Number six, practice meditation. You've probably heard about the advantages of meditation before. However, if you anticipate a busy and stressful day, set aside five to 10 minutes each morning to calmly begin your day with something mindful and even meditation. Take it slow and gradually build up to an hour of meditation because it will probably be challenging at first. Start each morning with just the five minutes when you have that under control Every week, add five more till you reach your comfort level. Through fMRI studies, neuroscientist Gail Desbordes showed that alterations in brain activity in people who had learned to meditate remained constant even when they weren't meditating. Desbordes monitored people's brain activity while they meditated and then again thereafter as they went about their daily lives. Even at the end of the study, the scan still demonstrated alterations in the brain pattern and of brain activations. This type of shift had never been identified in the amygdala region of the brain. Meditation is also known to help produce more gray matter, which will ultimately help you against things like intrusive thoughts and any other negativity that accompanies anxiety and depression. Number seven, sleeping. Do you regularly go to bed? When did you start watching this video? After reading this advice, if it is past your bedtime, go to bed. If you haven't already gone to bed, I am once more pleased. Our mental health depends on getting enough sleep. Lack of sleep might negatively affect our anxiousness. Lack of sleep, according to a study, can heighten your anxiety and stress levels by increasing the brain's anticipatory reflexes. So verify the time. Is it already time for bed? It's time to establish the regular habit of going to bed on time or perhaps a nightly one. Will you then adopt these behaviors? Which are you going to try first? And what behaviors enable you to manage your stress and anxiety? Please tell us in the comments. I know it can be super hard to not want to go to bed early because you're always because you're always involved in that YouTube video or that Netflix show, or maybe you're talking to your significant other, but you will regret it in the morning, just like we all have. If you found this video valuable, don't hesitate to subscribe and receive more inspiring content like this. Until next time, take care.